Installing and using Search Everything. Have you ever used the search feature in Windows XP? It is extremely slow. It's not much better in Vista either. I mean, you go here to start, you go to search, files or folders, and if you've ever used this, you type the file or folder you're looking in for, and then you go wait about five, ten minutes, and it's probably not going to find it anyways, the file you were looking for. And then you got to type something else in and try it again. It's really, really bad in Windows. Well, there's this program called Search Everything that's going to save your life. Go ahead and put your CD in that I gave you from the classroom and go on out to the CD and under the tools directory or tools folder you're going to see a folder called search everything. Go ahead and go into that folder and there's a program there called everything 1.2.1.371. Now I know there's an issue with some antivirus programs with this. There's a virus out there called the everything virus. And some antivirus programs believe that this is the everything virus. It is not. All right. If it comes up and says it's going to block it, quarantine it, whatever, you're going to have to go in if you really want to use this program. And I think you're going to want to after I show you how it works. You're going to have to go into your antivirus software and tell it to ignore or not, uh, not get rid of this program. All right. Read your documentation on your antivirus software to see how you do that. Okay. Once you have the file here, go ahead and double click on it. To start the installer up, go ahead and click on Next, and you got a few options here. You can shell what we call context menus, and what that means is when you right-click on anything in Windows, it's going to add some search everything uh, entries in there. I don't like doing that. All right, I don't like adding more things to the menus that are already in there. It makes them cluttered. We want it to run at startup. When we, that, what that means is I've actually got it running right now down here and it'll actually watch your hard drive for any changes and it'll update its database on the fly and you'll see how fast this thing is in a second. So you do want it to run on startup and you do want to have a start menu entry in your start menu. So go ahead and click on next. Those are the only two things you want. Just run at startup, start menu shortcuts. Go ahead and click on next and then click on install and it's done. It's that quick. All right. Search everything is going to come up automatically, and it is extremely fast. It, there isn't anything I can't find. Let's say I want to look for all the files that start with CCNT. As I'm typing, you can see it's starting to find that stuff. There's my background, my CCNT1 background. If I want to find all the files that start with uh, or end with BMP, I want to look for all my BMP files. I can type BMP, and there's all my bitmaps in my computer. It is really fast, and it is, it's amazingly fast. If you know what wildcards are, it'll work with wildcards as well. If I want to find all my INI files, let's say I type in star.ini, and it finds all my INI files out there. So if you're familiar with DOS wildcards, it works with those as well. Very amazing, quick search program. I think you're going to like it. If you've got a lot of files on your computer, especially if you've got a lot of music or anything and you want to find it quick, this is the way to do it. And your uh, results are also interactive. Let's say I search for my BMP files again. There they all are. I can actually interact with these files in here. I can double click and there it comes up. It comes up in the viewer. And I can interact with them. I can do anything I want with them. Very neat program. And like I said, it runs in the background and it always keeps track of what's going on. If you've got multiple hard drives, you've got uh, drives going to resources on networks, it'll search those as well. It'll keep track of all of them. Just go ahead and play around with some of the features in it. You can uh, go up here to the tools and the options and you can make it do some really cool things. And if you want to find out if there's a later version, just check for updates right here. Oh, and by the way, if you want to start it, all you have to do is double click right here while it's running in the background. You don't have to have it running at startup. You can do it manually and that's what I've got over here. If I were to exit this, it's not running in the background right now, but I've got a shortcut here where I can just click on it and it starts it right back up. Very neat little program. I think you're going to like it.